If you want to know how to find your Go High Level Snapshot ID, you found the right video. I'm going to show you three ways to find your Go High Level Snapshot ID. So let's get right into it. So first off, if you go to, to developers.gohighlevel.com, it'll bring you to this page. And then under Snapshot is the API information to acquire that snapshot. So what we're going to use is this domain right here. We're going to use the get method and authorization the bearer token the token is going to be your go high level agency api key the first method is going to be with zapier okay so what we want to do is um in your zap you want to click on the plus sign and create a new zap we're going to search for webhooks by zapier premium and here what we want to do instead of using the get we're going to use custom request I'm going to click on continue method we're going to do is get the url is going to be this url from high level this one here we'll put that there and then pass through set that to false data is going to be blank unflattened could be yes under basic authorization we want to leave that blank for he headers you're going to put authorization and then bearer space and then we're going to paste our api key so let's go get our api key we're going to go to our agency settings api keys if you don't already have an, a new api key don't want to use the old one it's going to be the new one you can go ahead and click on this button create a new api key copy that api key and paste that right in there just like that and go to click on continue and then from here we're going to click on test and review so boom, we have all of our snapshots with the names and IDs. So if you have a specific one you want to find, you can s simply type in the search here. Let's say real estate, what have you. Um, let's say real estate is number 18. Okay. I can come over here, find number 18 and grab my ID. Okay. So that's how you do it in Zapier. The second method we're going to do is using Integromat. So I'm going to show you how to do this same thing in Integromat. So what you want to do is create a scenario in Integromat and want to create an HTTP module. So you click on new module HTTP and then what to do, make a request just like that. The URL is going to be the same URL in here. The method is going to be get our headers. We're going to click on add a header. The name is going to be authorization. The value is going to be bearer and then your API key. So let's go grab the API key once more. Come over here, paste that there like that. Hit add. And we want to parse our response. Body type is going to be raw. Content type is going to be JSON. And we're going to click OK. And once that's all set, we're going to click on run this module only. It's going to run. It's going to give you this little pop up like this. Click on that. And then if you look at the output data, snapshots, it's going to give you all of your snapshots right here that you can easily see. If you want to search it, easily click on this button here download output bundles you can search it this way copy it and paste it into a text file however you want to do it there's all these snapshot ids using integromat the third way is by using postman in postman you can go ahead and create a free account i already uh, have an account so i'm just going to sign in here so once you're logged into postman what you want to do is go to your workspace you can create a new collection right and then within that you can click on add a request and here's going to be the request. So the request, uh, you can say get snapshot IDs. Would you use a get? I'm going to paste that there. Get rid of any extra spaces. After you put in the URL, we want to come over to authorization, changes to bearer token. And you're going to paste in your API key here and then click on send. And then you'll have all your snapshots and the IDs down below. You can easily search by clicking this little icon here. And let's say I want to find my real estate snapshot. Here's my ID. I can copy and paste that into my module to create my sub account within uh, Zapier or, or Integromat. So hopefully you found this helpful. I showed, just showed you three different ways to find your Go High Level snapshot ID. Comment below. Let me know your thoughts. Did this help you? What else do you need help with? I want some ideas from you to create new videos. With that being said, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and I'll see you in the next video.